Maybe you're 35, you're cinematic. Hey pals, welcome back. This is Tom. Over the last 12 months, he's really helped me with my YouTube channel, whether it's filming B-roll, providing feedback on videos, or even helping to create my wallpaper pack. He's not only a great resource to have on hand, but he's also a really good mate, and I wanted to say thank you for all of his help. I get a lot of brands reaching out to me looking to promote their products, so I decided to make use of these opportunities to give Tom's home office an overhaul. To be fair, he already has a pretty great desk setup, but there's definitely some room for improvement, so we discuss ideas on how to get even more out of his workspace. Tom already had a pretty nice color palette with his walnut desk and dark walls, but I wanted to expand on this by bringing in more wooden features and adding in some accent colors. As Tom was really keen to build a multi-purpose space, we agreed that using slat wall panels would not only give him an interesting backdrop for client calls, but would also help dampen the acoustics of the space, which will really help when he eventually starts to make more YouTube content in future. We used some photos of his office as a reference and mocked up what the room would look like with the panels installed. He wasn't sure which wall to put them on at first, so this really helped to visualize both options before we got started. We also decided that adding some accessories to his desk would really elevate his experience. I shared some of the lessons that I had learned through designing my own workspace and came up with a list of small suggestions. Once we had a rough idea of what we were looking to achieve, I reached out to some brands that I'd worked with previously and told them what I was planning. They were all really keen to get involved and although it took a few weeks for everything to come together, we eventually locked in a date to turn our plans into action. We started by tackling the slat wall first, which turned out to be a much bigger job than expected. Unlike my apartment, which is basically just plasterboard, Tom's house is made of brick, which meant we couldn't just screw the panels directly onto the wall. So to solve this, we picked up some batten supplies and created a frame that would give us the supporting structure that we needed. With our batten frame in place, we set about to installing the panels, which we got from NatureWall. Fortunately, this was a far easier job and much more rewarding as it completely transformed the look and feel of the room. Tom's office immediately changed from just being a spare room with a desk to feeling like a properly modern and cozy workspace. After that, it was just a case of setting up the TV and running the cables through gaps we had made in the frame before screwing the panels onto the batten. Once we cleaned up and brought all of his furniture back in, we honestly couldn't believe how good everything looked. I'm such a big fan of these panels, so definitely check out NatureWall. They have a bunch of different color options available, which will help you to build your perfect slat wall project. Following this, we turned our attention back to the desk. I had recently been talking to Grove Maid, who definitely makes some of the best looking products. They kindly sent out their desk shelf and accompanying tray, which perfectly complemented Tom's setup. That's nice. Everything from their packaging to their product design felt really premium and well made. The desk shelf is made of solid walnut and other high quality materials, and the silver accents work really well with the rest of his desk. They also sent out their task knife, which might just be one of my favorite products ever. It's just so beautiful. We replaced Tom's cheap desk mat with one from Orbit Key, which looked much nicer and helped to add a bit of contrast between the desk and the shelf. The grooved top section also provides a really nice place for Tom to rest his iPad on for when he's using it as a second monitor. Finally, we put his studio monitors on some small stands to angle them up towards his ears. This is one of the most common mistakes I see on desk setups, but definitely one of the easiest to correct. These stands are from Kanto, and like everything else in this video, I've linked them in the description below. They work with pretty much every brand, and they really help you to get the best listening experience. Just make sure to get the right size for your speakers. Speaking of high quality audio, this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound, who have been my go-to source for all of my soundtrack needs for the last couple of years now. It's a wicked tool for content creators to find music and sound effects while removing the risk of copyright strikes, which can lead to your content being taken down. Wherever you post content, Epidemic Sound has a plan for you. The Pistol Plan is ideal for content creators like me, as it covers most platforms and you're allowed to monetize your videos without having to worry about content being flagged for unlicensed usage. Me and Tom are both freelance videographers and we often need music and sound effects in our work projects, so there's even a commercial plan that can cover your work when it's posted on your client's social media accounts. It has a massive library and new tracks are added all the time, so it's genuinely a helpful resource to have. A feature that I really like is the playlist tool. I usually just throw a few tracks tracks together that have a similar vibe to what I'm after, and then I choose from the suggested tracks. I think it's a much easier way to discover music rather than just endlessly scrolling until everything sounds the same. Click the link in the description below to get a free 30-day trial. Everything you post during your trial is protected, even if you decide to cancel. 
After settling into his new workspace, Tom added some finishing touches to round everything off. He turned the opposite corner of the room into a reading nook by adding a mid-century modern style chair and installed some black pegboards for future storage. He also wall mounted a light stand to maximize floor space when he's shooting content and added some accent lighting to give his workspace a warm, cozy vibe. Sweet, so I'm Tom, uh, I'm a freelance videographer, and yeah, this is my work from home office setup that I use every day. This office used to literally be a desk in an empty room, and I always knew that I could get more functionality from this space. I wanted to bring a TV in that you know I can game at if my partner's watching something downstairs. I wanted to be able to shoot YouTube content in here and have multiple backdrops that I can choose from to make sure that videos are always looking different. I wanted to have a nicer workspace to just really get zoned in and focus on client work. Just have a visually pleasing room really that just looks good on camera. Basically, I wanted better storage, improved acoustics, more functionality, and I just wanted it to feel more polished and premium. What do you mean by making it look more polished and premium? Well, I started like most people start. Um, I added IKEA Alex drawers with a worktop and, you know, basically called it a day. I was able to work from it and, you know, it served the purpose basically. But I just wanted to take that to the next level. Accessories go a long way to improving functionality, productivity, all these different things. So, yeah, I just wanted to take it up a notch and just elevate the entire office space as much as possible. And there we have it. I honestly think we did such a good job with this space. So thanks again to all the brands who helped us achieve this. And thanks for sticking around until the end of this video. Tom's really happy with his new office. And even though it was a lot of work, it was really fun to build a workspace that wasn't mine. So I'd love to create more videos like this in future. Let me know in the comments if that sounds like something you'd be keen for. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>